Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Activos. In today's tutorial, we are going to explore admin section in Activos. What this admin section contains? It contains various important information such as what is the current status of Activos server, license information, configure server, configure services, clustering, multi-site and maintenance. So let's go and see what each section con contains. The very first section that is server status. It gives the when the last server started, how many process definition present in the server, cluster status whether it's running or stopped, cluster monitoring level. It will give us it is like fatal or normal. What is the current version of ActiveOS? So if, if you are if you are not aware how to see what is the current version of ActiveOS, you can definitely come to the admin and server status. You will see the actual version with the build number, identity service enable. So if your integration is not working with the MDM and the and the ActiveOS means if the tasks are not generated, make sure this identity service is enabled email service and messaging that is kind of additional features using this console if you have the multiple activos server or you want to stop your activos server you can just click this stop server the server will stop so you don't have to stop or remove the deploy uh, activos deployment from application server you can go ahead and stop the server from here you can export this configuration or if you are already exported, you can import that configuration here as well. The next is tenant information, which contains the who is the product owner of this Activos. So the details of that is provided in the tenant detail. The cluster information. We'll see the what are the cluster properties. Cleanup delay in seconds, it is 300. Time difference tolerance warning in second is 60 seconds failure delay 30 seconds automatic failure enable yes it is enable log inbound cluster configuration it is enable no it is not log outbound cluster communication it's not enable we can enable if you need to debug these properties right now we are not going to do any such configuration update so let uh, system handle it Then the next property we'll see is configuration service. So we just saw the configure server. Uh, sorry, we just saw a couple of properties. Let me load that again. We saw the server status. We saw the cluster properties. Let's see the site properties. The site properties contain uh, if any other sites are involved during your Activos configuration. This current product do not uh, support the multi-site, so that's the reason it giving this message. How many CPUs are getting used? Right now, 16 CPUs are configured to support this environment. What are the server properties? These are the server properties you might have seen my earlier uh, tutorials also. I'm re repeating in this session so that you can have the more better idea about this. The properties such as suspend process on uncaught fault, suspend process on invoke recovery. Those are more, I would say, uh, administration property. It, it enhances the performance of your activo. So you can change this contribution cache, deployment plan cache, deployment log timeout. You can change here if you want process count. The deployment log timeout is actually a uh, help if you have the like the deployment component is bigger you need to have a little longer timeout so that case you can increase process count process idle timeout you can increase the process timeout uh, idle timeout if, if process is taking a little longer time resource cache screen cache size and other properties the, uh, I would say the main important properties are the work manager, thread pool, minimum is 10 and maximum is 50. If your active OS is not performing well, try to tune this property that might help. The log property, if you want to change the log level, right now it is verbose that will give the more logs 
of active voice. You can change from verbose to critical, just critical information will be logged. You can change to error, just error information will be logged. Warning, it will log the warning, error and critical information. If you set the info, it will log the info level, warning level, error and critical. Verbose is just debug kind of logs. Process logging level is execution. You can change to execution with data or full or you can set to none as well. Maximum buffer size is 200. Persistent interval with 30 seconds. That means file is get generated in 30 seconds. Means the, uh, the logs will be written in the file. Log all messages. Yes. Log base directory. This is the log directory. So um, if you have any different directory, you can specify here the logs will be generated on that location. So these are the log level information you can change as per your need and if someone asks what is the log location you can just come under this section log logging properties and you will get the all the information about the logging. I hope uh, you are clear with this session, uh, section. Let's go ahead and load uh, the other properties also and we'll see what else it contains. Uh, I think today's network is not that great. Okay, let's go ahead. Global functions. These are the functions we have configured or already available with ActiveOS. A, B, 4, P, Manager. A, B, X, B, 4, P. A, B, 4, P, Manager, B, 4, P. A, B, 4, P, Manager, T, R, T. I, AE AOS central manager so those are the global functions config those are internally used we don't have to worry as administrator or developer monitoring threshold threshold period is 5 minutes evaluation frequency is 5 maximum trouble item is 100 normal these property are rarely used uh, um, but it helps to tune the uh, active OS you are in mapping this is well known section as administrator we have to configure a couple of things here make sure you have configured mdm service mdm host as an infi mdm with the all the corresponding urls if you don't configure this your activos will not integrate properly with mdm hub so these are very important urls required tenant definition it's again the tenant detail who is the owner of this product at that moment who holds the license the tenant definition has the, some additional information now the configuring the services services such as alert service or the email service etc right now we are not configured any alert or email or messaging we have just configured the identity service that is important so make sure you have enable it checkbox is enable and provider should be MDM that is what the integration is happening you can provide the admin use MDM admin user and password you can test also like go to the test section and provide any username which are available in the MDM hub and click on the test setting it will give the test successful if the username and password configured here are correct if any users or groups you can do the configure that also you can export this configuration and save that file and if you want to import that later you can import it as i said there is no email service configured it's empty but if you want to configure in future you have to click this enable button provide the host name for the email server port number what is the from what means if the email is sent what email id you want to display on in inbox what is username and password you have to provide the confirm password and security you have to provide messaging service if you want to use any messaging service you can configure in this section central service if you are using active central then you have to configure the active central too and the rest last thing is the scheduler which um, you might have seen earlier or you will see in the upcoming session how to create a scheduler to run a job or workflow after certain frequency 
in the scheduler uh, maintenance section we have the scheduling to schedule the workflow and the storage to maintain or delete the completed and faulted task so either you can do that manually or you can schedule that deletion process through scheduler also you can have the separate session for this or you can watch another video for that so those are the details you can capture although you can configure you can maintain in the admin section this is very simple and very um, easy section to handle if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you again for watching and um, appreciating my efforts uh, it is always amazing to see your very nice and I would say the more um, important comments for me it motivates me so thank you for doing that keep doing that thank you again have a nice time